Hey guys, here Virgos. This is Simone, Moon Goddess CC. Thank you so much for checking my videos. This is a weekly reading for Virgo starting the 10th of July to the 17th of July. So let's get started. This is my sign, so this should be interesting. Um, yeah, let's see. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Um, you might still be, there's lots that you want to accomplish, lots that you want to, um, you know, like you're thinking about wanting to manifest and, and to mature and things might be a bit might not be um showing themselves as yet but that's fine because slow is not stop slow is fine slow is slow perspective right so at the middle of the deck who we are right now seven of cups perhaps we feel as if that we are being presented with lots of different opportunities um, but sometimes what we are being presented is not always what is sometimes all that glitters is not gold um, what you might have now might actually be better than what is being presented to you. Or all of these options might just be in your mind. Um, for your well-being and personal development, Virgos, this week is Two of Cups reversed. It's like... Virgo, the healer, we give a lot. We pour a lot into other people's cups. And maybe this week, Virgo, it's about you. It's about pouring all of that love. Self-love week. Self-love week. Um, do things that make you happy, that make you feel like you... You know, do things for yourself. Make plans for yourself. Create things for yourself. Put energy into you. When you are able to fill your own cup, you are then able to share with others. And, you know, this is what I was actually thinking when I saw the Ten of Pentacles reverse because upright Ten of Pentacles could be very much about building a community a tribe it's about giving you've amassed wealth or and wealth could be abundance comes in many different forms but you've amassed and in this case let's say there's lots of love you have or you have talents and abilities that you share readily with others and with it being reversed it's a bit it's almost as if you're kind of like pulling back a bit or you know, maybe there's not that much for you to share because you're not filling up your cup. You're giving, giving, giving. So personal and development and well-being this week, I feel like it's as if it's saying, um, fill your cup in order for you to fill others. For your home and family, it's the seven of swords. Sorry, Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Six of Swords is a card about the grass is greener on the other side. Going, moving, moving away. Seeking 
whatever you're dealing with at the moment at home it might feel as if you want to move on move forward move away get away pull back and if we go back to what's in the middle of this spread which is the seven of cups which is about um being offered all of these different options all of these different you know all these beautiful things being offered to you and wanting to maybe leave where you are in order to go after all these shiny cups sometimes we have to realize that there's a lot of illusion this might be more beautiful in your own mind than it really is um it could be trying to balance your work life relationship you know it's all well and good to go out and get make that money and um buy all these beautiful shiny things but You know, home, home is important. Your family, your friends are important. Um, so I'd say whatever it is that you're looking to leave and move towards, that that is beautiful and that is all well and good. Movement is good, change is good. But think this week before you make any decisions. Take time out to think. Take time out to connect with your higher self and your, you know, with your truth to see if what you're looking to leave and go towards is actually what is. I mean, it just might be, but take time out just to be sure with your love and partnership sector. It's the Eight of Wands. And eight of wands is about movement, speed. It could be about travel. It's like these eight wands. Wands representing fire, passion, creativity. And these eight wands flying, hurtling through the air. Um, maybe in your relationship at the moment, there will be some significant, swift change. Um, but I feel as if it's positive, it's positive, like, maybe that's why your Ten of Pentacles is reversed, because whatever is going on, um, things aren't very clear at the moment, and you might not be able to see, you have all of these beautiful things being offered to you, and you can't discern the forest from the trees kind of thing but this week whatever has been blocking your movement in your relationship um there is some swift change coming um if you're single and perhaps thinking to yourself oh my word like when will i meet that person whatever's going on in your life it's going to change and it's going to happen like that um, and it can then go back to you and your personal development and well-being where when you finally take time out for yourself and you finally give yourself all this love that you're pouring out towards, you then realize that you attract just what it is that you want for yourself. You attract what you are. You attract who you are. You know, all of your relationships are reflections of who you are, what energies you're putting out there. But whatever's happening in your love and relationship, it's, there's lots of fire and passion. And um, maybe you guys are going on a holiday together. Maybe you're in a long distance relationship and you're traveling to see this person. It's, yeah. But um, take time out to connect with self. I feel as if that is 
the message, take time out to connect with self. All that glitters is not gold. In your work and career, it is seven of wands, wands again. And you might feel as if you are on, on unsteady ground or you're venturing into something new. And you might feel as if you don't have all of the necessary skills and qualities in order to do, to be the best at what it is that you're now seeking. Or perhaps in your work life, you know, things, there might be changes in your work life and you might feel a bit unsteady, but bear in mind that as, as unsteady as the ground is under this young man's feet, he is still managing to maintain balance. He's still managing to get through whatever the challenge is um, at this time. Things are not very clear with the Seven of Cups. But with some meditation, some time out, I feel as if things will then start to, as the week progresses, you will start to get some clarity. Um, within, let's see what the oracle cards have to say for Virgo for this week. Virgo of this week, Virgo sun, Virgo moon, Virgo rising. Give me a card for Virgos this week. Give me a card for Virgos this week, please. Okay. Card. Milk and honey. Oh, how beautiful that is. Milk and honey. 51. The taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. The Oracle's message, you're, you've entered a sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. It's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious. When all your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe. These times are precious and only come when you're in your authentic zone, wearing the world as a loose garment, not wanting, yet able to be nourished in ways both tangible and subtle. Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. So yeah, Virgos, this week, Take time out for self. There's lots of change happening with Virgos. You're moving on to greener pastures. You're being offered lots of different opportunities at this point. Abundance. All your dreams in front of your eyes. Um... And as Virgos, as earth signs, we love stability and security. And with all this change that's happening, you might feel a bit overwhelmed. But this is just the transition. Beautiful things await you. Beautiful things are happening for you. Take time out for yourself connect to self I can't help but say that again um, when you do so you connect to the universe and everything just starts to flow and happen and, and things just start to fall into place beautifully so yeah Virgo 
pour into your fill your own cup this week thank you so much for checking my video um please share like subscribe i will be back again with more videos from virgo in the meantime you guys have a beautiful week it's blessed all is well thank you so much and i'll see you soon Bye bye